Okay, so let's take a walk around horse here. And I'm calling him horse, um, a horse with no name, but I may come up with a name. I don't know. I'm not inspired yet. So, um, 1978 Ford Bronco. Um, I'll go through the pile of parts later, but there are a couple extra consoles, all of the uh, door and window seal, seal, seals, uh, rubber seals, um, and then some engine parts, uh, headers, intake manifold, uh, camshaft and lifters, carburetor, water pump, some suspension pieces, brake parts, um, and some other things. So this here is the 400 engine, uh, from what I understand, oh, say hello to Ginger, um, came from this uh, chassis right here. So I haven't figured out if this is a 78 or 79 chassis, but it does have the um, off-road suspension package on it, which includes the extra shock, as well as this lateral shock right here on the back. Um, and this one has the automatic transmission um, of course, a Dana 44 front end, four nine inch rear end. These uh, white wagon wheel styles were on horse there um, originally, uh, but right now they're just being used to roll this chassis around. So that's a 460 engine off of a 1990 F250 two wheel drive. Um, I'll be selling that. It's just. It came with the frame because it was sitting on top of it. So anyway, um, let's get back to the fun stuff here. So you can see there is no engine in uh, existence at this time. The original engine uh, should be dropped off in the next week or two. Um, and then I'll make the decision on exactly what I'm going to do because I don't know yet. Uh, there's a three inch lift uh, currently installed um, with these kind of desert runner style bumpers. Uh, they're just primed right now. Also, I'm not sure that I'm going to keep those on there. I may go back to the chrome uh, bumpers. Um, the, it does have the sliding windows. Um, I'm hoping I can source some new um, weather stripping for that, but I don't know yet. Haven't even started research on that. Uh, the back, I haven't got the tailgate to come down yet. Obviously there's no engine, but I did hook a battery to it um, and I couldn't get, so I'm gonna have to trace the wiring and see about getting that down so I can get the top off. Uh, it'll make doing interior work a lot easier. So this is a matching bumper on the back, which I will also probably remove and put a chrome bumper back on it. It's just my style, it's what I like. So, um, and then I'll just put the factory hanger back on because I do like the spare on the back. I think that looks really good. So um, all of the trim is in Really, really, really good condition. The, the paint itself is very oxidized um, from Arizona and then Minnesota, but you can see, um, I think it would come back. So again, I haven't made up my mind on what I'm gonna do paint-wise either. So the interior um, with the XLT, it's it's got, well, wood, wood grain vinyl, um, roll up windows, um, and uh, brown interior. It's got the velour inserts, um, maybe a little hint to what's possibly coming. Um, I really like the, the more tartan inserts that you would get. Um, I like that better. So. We'll see. We'll see what happens with this interior. Um, 
but it all needs to come out. It's It's got a little bit of white mold here and there. Um, an aftermarket sunroof, which I'm guessing was put in almost immediately after it was bought new. That's kind of a popular option back then. Um, so I'm going to have to decide. I'm probably not going to keep this one because um, it's old and old tends to leak. And if you look up on the top, it, it, it's just the rubber's old. So I may opt to just replace that with a, a new one since the hole's cut there. I'm not going to I'm not going to change that. It kind of goes with the vibe. I just want it to be tight and dry in here when I get all done, which will be a long time from now. So the dashboard has got a little crack in it. Um also that front part is broken here, but I've got a couple of replacement dash trim pieces. So um you can see the pedals uh are in really good shape, uh, which really makes me think that it it is the original 73,000 miles. Um, even looking at the at the engine bay, you know, you're you're yeah, that firewall. It looks so clean and dry. Uh, it doesn't even look like there's a lot of of oil residue here from like the, I don't think the engine was probably leaking much uh, so here on the driver's side uh steering wheels in really good shape um and the seat you know you've got some cracking here and you've got a little bit of separation here which I would expect just from age but this velour is not worn that bad so and i'm looking at the carpet and this vinyl insert here where the heel would go i just don't see a lot of wear that would tell me that it has a bunch more miles on it than the seventy thousand miles so um but you can see the rockers they all look just so dry the bottom of the doors you know you've got some rust here but it's it's not through it's just it's easily treatable so underneath it's just all very very good and dry so uh, my plan right now is to um, once I get my lift installed hopefully in a month or so which should sit over there somewhere is to lift this body off the frame since it has no engine in it anyway and go through the frame, uh, go through the suspension, um, you know, install the engine, whether it's this one, the other one, make sure they're rebuilt and fresh and, and uh, yeah, brakes, do everything frame-wise, uh, kind of restore the frame, essentially make it, you know, because it's just aged. And then uh, in that process, also rip the interior apart redo it completely and then I'm, I'm putting off a decision on the body so once I get done with that or get into that process I'll figure out if I'm going to try to bring that paint back and just have it give it that survivor look or whether we go ahead and pull the trigger for a new yellow paint job so I don't know I don't know what I'm going to do but uh that's just kind of a quick, quick walk around and also a chance to see the shop and the mess and um, I'm still getting organized. So you can see I've got two new uh, dashboard face plates or whatever and just a bunch of stuff. So anyway, stay tuned. We'll see, uh, see what happens. Mm -hmm.